I Married a Mystic is all about this um, this very topic of asking for guidance um, and then receiving it and following it or um, there were times where I was actually praying and saying writing down I can't hear you where are you <laughs> I can't hear you Jesus where are you Holy Spirit I can't hear you and what blocks hearing the Holy Spirit is fear um, and so when we're afraid of hearing and we're afraid of what might be asked of us then there there's a block in the mind to hearing it and part of the mind is actually saying no I don't want to hear I don't know what might be asked of me so I actually looked at the course this morning and there's a some really beautiful parts in here about that where Jesus talks about the fear of actually hearing the Holy Spirit and here is an amazing line that sums it up you believe that to ask for guidance of the Holy Spirit is to ask for deprivation isn't that profound you think that to ask the Holy Spirit for guidance is to ask for deprivation. So, you wouldn't want to know, would you, if you think that what you're going to hear is going to deprive you of something and take away something. But the answer to prayer he shares, everyone who ever tried to use prayer to ask for something has experienced what appears to be failure. This is not only true in connection with specific things that might be harmful, but also in connection with requests that are strictly in line with this course. The latter in particular might be incorrectly interpreted as proof that the course does not mean what it says. You must remember, however, that the Course states, and repeatedly, that its purpose is the escape from fear. Let us suppose, then, that what you ask of the Holy Spirit is what you really want, but you are still afraid of it. Should this be the case, your attainment of it would no longer be what you want. The Bible emphasizes that all prayer is answered, and this is indeed true. The very fact that the Holy Spirit has been asked for anything will ensure a response. And yet, it is equally certain that no response given by him will be the one that would increase fear. The Holy Spirit does not want to increase fear. And so if you're asking for something that you're afraid of receiving and you're afraid of hearing, then it's unlikely that it's going to get through to you. So it's possible that his answer will not be heard. It is impossible, however, that it will be lost. So he describes here, there are many answers you have already received but have not yet heard. And I assure you that they are waiting for you. So if we're asking for guidance and we're praying for help and we don't seem to be hearing the answer, this is a really beautiful, uh, clear message from Jesus that your prayers are heard and the Holy Spirit is answering, but if there is fear of hearing the answer, then it won't get through to you just yet. And so this is where um, at another point, Jesus says, it's, um, I can't take away your fear, but I can help you to see the conditions. I can help you see the conditions that seem to bring this fear into your mind. I can help you see the blocks to the awareness of love's presence or of the guidance. So that's where the inner inquiry is really important rather than continuing to ask for guidance, ask for new guidance, and ask for new guidance. Perhaps it's already there waiting. 
And the question needs to be, what am I afraid of losing? What am I afraid of losing if I hear the guidance? And then it's quite likely that it'll something will come into your mind. And then that's what can be given over to the Holy Spirit and trust. Thank you.